Hello friends. Today I am going to be using a packet that I created that will be available to you as well um, to show you how to draw an anime manga style portrait. Um, you can see this is an example here. On one side I left the kind of pencil mark so you could see uh, how I did it and on the other side I made it look a little bit more finished and added color. This is hopefully what your finished product is going to look like. Um, but for right now, we're going to practice. So I'm just going to use a scrap piece of paper. doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not going to be really precious with it because we're learning how to do this for the first time. So the first step is to draw a circle. I'm going to do that here. And the circle doesn't need to be perfect. Don't spend a lot of time trying to make it look perfect or try to trace something. Just make sure that you are drawing lightly so that you can erase what you don't want. Um, but you can see just a circle. I have a lot of extra lines and that's perfectly fine. The next thing I'm going to do is to draw kind of an X through the middle of it. That is because I am going to be using that to help me figure out where to put the different facial features on the head. Um, once I've done that, and again, this X is definitely going to get erased. This is not going to be in the final product, so that is going to be super light. Then I'm going to kind of drop in two lines coming out of the side of that circle. This circle is kind of going to be the main part of the head or the cranium, and this is going to be the jaw. Now everyone's jaw looks different, so you could make it wider or thinner, a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. That's kind of up to you. Then the next thing I'm going to place is the ears. You can see that on step four. The ears are usually in line with where your eyes are, even though this is not a super hyper-realistic style of creating portraits. Um, we still want to have them you know, approximately in the right place. So below that cross line, we are going to put the ears and they're going to come down almost to touch that top part of the jaw. Now, when we add hair, um, you might end up covering those up, which is fine. But for right now, they're in there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the eyebrows and the eyes. I'm just going to map in pretty basic eyes because uh, anime eye style and, or manga eye, eye style is... Um, really pretty unique and I'm not going to be super detailed now. I'm just mapping where I want to put the facial features. So I'm going to put those right below that line. So I'm going to drop in eyebrows and again, doesn't need to look perfect. I'm going to go back in and kind of decide what I want to do with them a little bit later. Um, but they are going to be above that line right there. And this is going to be kind of the center. Uh, and then down here, I'm going to put in eyes. And again, I'm just going to make sure that they're in the right place. Not super detailed for the moment. Um, then... An anime nose can be done a lot of different ways, or a manga nose, but it can also be done really simply with just a line. I'm going to put that just as a kind of curved line right here where the bottom of the circle meets the jaw. And the last thing I'm going to put here is a mouth. Again, there are lots of different ways you can render this, but I'm just going to put a line in here for right now. And that's going to be between this circle and uh, the bottom of the jaw. Next I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the neck and shoulders. We're not going to be doing a whole full body thing. We're just going to be doing a portrait of kind of head neck. So I'm going to draw two lines coming out of where that jaw is. Again, necks can be thinner or wider, kind of depends on what you want to do. This is where I'm putting my lines and I'm curving them out a little bit. Then for the shoulders, making a slanted line right there and a slanted line right there and a line right there and a line right there which are if you feel on your own 
kind of shoulders, neck area, these are like the clavicle bones. So these are bones that you can kind of feel um, in the front. Now, one thing we don't have here, and it is not depicted right here, is uh, hair. Hair is kind of tricky, and I'm gonna give you a handout with lots of different hairstyles. Um, also in this packet, you can see there are examples of different eye styles, if you wanna pick one of those. Examples of different mouth styles. Um, but no matter what style of hair you're gonna add, whether you are making someone with mohawk, short hair, longer hair, what you need to know is that your hairline is gonna start, even if it's very short, below that top of that circle. Don't just put hair on top of the circle, okay? It's gonna go right there. Now for me, I'm actually gonna decide because I'm gonna render something similar to this to give my character kind of bangs coming forward. And you can see they come below almost to the eyebrows. Bangs could actually cover the eyebrows or even cover one part of an eye. And this is the original line where I did the top of that circle. The hairline is also gonna go above that. So, I'm gonna give my person longer hair. You don't have to, you can look at the handouts or you know, you can hunt around on your iPad and look at different characters that have been designed by different artists and see if you are seeing some that you like. There we go. So now that I have my basic features uh, kind of where they, where I want them to be. I'm going to add some details. I'm going to add some lines above the eyes. I'm going to add kind of a thicker line right here for a lash line. Um, this is a art form that is done kind of all over now, um, but it originated in Japan. Uh, there is this cultural belief in Japan. I have been told that eyes are the windows to the soul. So that is one of the reasons why some people say that the eyes are rendered um, in kind of an exaggerated manner, which they are. Um, one thing that is common, isn't always present, but is common is you see these little circles. So in the eye, so I have the iris and the pupil, which is the darker part in the center of your eye, but you also see these little white circles, which are meant to be reflections. Um, those are something that you definitely can add. And I'm gonna make a more prominent lash line at the bottom too. Now from here, it's kind of up to you. You get to make a lot of choices as far as what you want these details to look like. But this is the basics for how to do this project. And let me know if you have any questions. Okay.